in cloud computing, the competition for leadership is a quite a tough three-way race. Amazon Web Services, Microsoft Azure, and Google Cloud Platform clearly are the top cloud companies hold a commanding lead in the infrastructure as a service and platform as a service markets. Hey everyone, I'm Shamli and I welcome you all to this new video of Simply Learn on AWS versus Azure versus GCP. In this video, we will compare and contrast AWS, Azure and GCP based on a few related concepts around these cloud computing platforms. It will help us understand the functioning of these top cloud platforms and will also let us figure out the individuality of each one of them. But before starting with the comparison, let's have a quick introduction of AWS versus Azure versus GCP. So let's get started. Amazon Web Services or AWS is a cloud computing platform that manages and maintains hardware and infrastructure, reducing the expense and complexity of purchasing and running resources on site for businesses and individuals. These resources are available for free or for a fee per usage. Microsoft Azure is a cloud computing service that it offers a collection of cloud computing services for building, testing, deploying, and managing application in the cloud, including remotely hosted and managed versions of Microsoft technology. Google Cloud Platform offers a variety of cloud computing services for building, deploying, scaling, monitoring, and operating a cloud. The services are identical to those that power Google products such as Google Search, Gmail, YouTube, and Google Drive. Now let's move on to the comparison between AWS, Azure, and GCP. We will be comparing them based on few major parameters like origin, service integration, availability zone, cloud tools like compute, storage, networking, market share, pricing, and at last, who uses them. Now, let's move ahead and start with the first comparison, origin. In the year 2006, Amazon Web Services, AWS, was introduced to the market. And in the year 2010, Azure launched its services. Whereas on the other hand, GCP was established in the year 2008. From the start, AWS has been supportive of the open source concept, but the open source community has a tense relationship with Azure. On the other hand, GCP similar to AWS provides Google Cloud with managed open source services that are tightly linked. AWS offers services on a large and complex scale that can be manipulated, but Azure support is comparatively low quality, whereas GCP's monthly support price is almost $150 for the silver class, which is the most basic of services and is quite expensive. Now let's move on to the service integration of these cloud platforms. Service integration is a set of tools and technology that connects different applications, systems, repositories, and data and process interchange in real time. AWS makes it simple for users to combine services such as Amazon EC2, Amazon S3, Beanstalk, and others. On the other hand, Azure allows customers to effortlessly combine Azure VMs, Azure App Service, SQL databases, and other services. Whereas users can utilize GCP to combine services such as Compute Engine, Cloud Storage, and Cloud SQL. Now that we know briefly about all these cloud platforms, let's have a look at the availability zones of these platforms. Because AWS was the first in the cloud domain, they have had more time to build and extend their network. But Azure and GCP both have various locations around the world. But the distinction is in the amount of availability zones they have. AWS now offers 66 availability zones with an additional 12 on the pipeline. Close to it, Azure is available in 140 countries and is available in 54 regions throughout the world. 
but Google Cloud Platform is now available in 20 global areas, with three more on the way. Now let's move on to the next important factor, which is tools. Now let's move ahead and have, have a look at the first feature, which is Compute. Elastic Compute Cloud or EC2 is AWS Compute Service, which offers a wide range of features, including a large number of instances, support for both Windows and Linux, high performance computing, and more. Azure, on the other hand, Virtual Machines is Microsoft Azure's core cloud-based compute solution. It includes Linux, Windows Server, and other operating systems as well as better security and Microsoft program integration. In comparison to its competitors, Google's computing services catalog is somewhat smaller. Compute Engine, that company's principal service, offers custom and predefined machine types. Per second invoicing, Linux and Windows support, and carbon neutral infrastructure that uses half the energy of traditional data centers. Within the compute category, Amazon's different containers services are gaining prominence. It has Docker Kubernetes, and it's also Fargate service, which automates server and cluster management when using containers as well as other alternatives. Azure, unlike AWS, uses virtual machine scale sets of two container services. Azure Container Service is based on Kubernetes and Container Service uses Docker Hub and Azure Container Registry for management. For enterprises interested in deploying containers, Google offers the Kubernetes engine. It's also worth noting that Google was significantly involved in the Kubernetes project providing it extensive knowledge in this field. Now let's move on to the next parameter of comparison, which is storage. Simple storage service for object storage, elastic block storage, for persistent block storage, and elastic file system for file storage are among AWS storage offerings. Blob storage for REST-based object storage of unstructured data, queue storage for a large volume workloads, File storage and disk storage are among Microsoft Azure's core storage services. GCP offers an increasing number of storage options. Its unified object storage service, cloud storage, also has a persistent disk option. Relational Database Service or RDS, DynamoDB, NoSQL Database, Elastic Cache in Memory Data Store, Redshift Data Warehouse, Neptune, Graph Database, and Database Migration Service are all SQL compatible databases offered by Amazon. The database choices in Azure are especially wide. SQL Database, MySQL Database, and PostgreSQL Database are the three SQL based choices. When it comes to databases, GCP offers the SQL based Cloud, SQL, and Cloud Spanner a relational database built for mission-critical workloads. Now the next parameter is networking. AWS uses Amazon Virtual Private Cloud or VPC. On the other hand, Azure uses Azure Virtual Network, VNet, and GCP uses Cloud Virtual Network. Now let's move on to the another factor which is market share and pricing. All these cloud services are based on comparative pricing strategy, which means you need to pay on the basis of its usage. According to Canalys, the worldwide cloud market rose 35% to $41.8 billion in the first quarter of 2021. AWS accounts for 32% of the market, with Azure accounting for 19% and Google accounting for 7%. On one hand, Amazon charges on a yearly basis. And on the other hand, Microsoft Azure and Google services charge on a minute basis. And also, of them provide you a standard price for you to access these services. AWS charges roughly $69 per month for a very basic instance with two virtual CPUs and 8 GB of RAM. And AWS largest instance with 3.84 TB of RAM and 128 vCPUs will set you back roughly $3.97 per hour. But in Azure, the same type of instance 
one with two V CPUs and eight GB of RAM cost roughly seventy dollar US per month. And Asia's largest instance has three point eight nine TB of RAM and one twenty eight virtual CPUs. It costs about six point seven nine dollar per hour. Compared to AWS. GCP will supply you with the most basic instance, which includes two virtual CPUs and eight gigabytes of RAM, for 25% less. As a result, it will set you back roughly to $52 every month, and the largest instance that include is 3.75 TB of RAM and 160 V CPUs. It will cost you around $5.32 per hour. Amazon. Other than this, also provides spot instances, reserved instances, and dedicated host where you can look for multiple offers and discounts. But for Azure, it provides special prices to developers based on situations, or even Azure Hybrid benefit, which benefits your organization up to forty percent if it uses Microsoft software in their data centers. Whereas Google offers quite a sorted pricing to its customer compared to other two, it gives you sustained use discounts, which activate if you use the same instance for a month. The Primtable instance, which is very similar to Amazon Spot instances, but one thing is common in all the three cloud services, which is they all offer long-term discount. Now let's have a look at the last comparison, which is companies using them. Because AWS is the oldest player in the cloud business, it has the largest user base and community support. As a result, AWS has the largest number of high-profile and well-known clients, including Netflix, Airbnb, Unilever, BMW, Samsung, MI, Zynga, and others. With time, Azure is getting a large number of high-profile customers. Azure currently boasts around 80% of Fortune. 500 firms as customers: Johnson Controls, Polycom, Fujifilm, HP, Honeywell, Apple, and others are among its key clients. Google Cloud, on the other hand, uses the same infrastructure as Google Search and YouTube, and as a result, many high-end enterprises trust Google Cloud. HSBC, PayPal, 20th Century Fox, Bloomberg, Domino's, and other are among Google Cloud's many clients. So. This was all about AWS versus Azure versus GCP. We have almost reached the end of this video. If I missed anything important, do let me know in the comment section. I hope you enjoyed this video on AWS versus Azure versus GCP and learn something new from it. If you like this video, then please hit the like button. Thanks for watching this video and stay tuned for more updates and videos from Simply Learn. Hi there! If you like this video, subscribe to the Simply Learn YouTube channel and click here to watch similar videos. To nerd up and get certified, click here.